Hey guys, it's the morning. I'm about to make Jackson clean up because he's pulling all his toys out as soon as we came in the playroom. I've got him dressed. I'm still in my pajamas. Today is kind of an errand day, so I wanted to do a vlog style like school day with you guys when we're busy. So another thing too right now is um, after all the party chaos, and um, stuff like that, I decided to take like a month off of curriculum. I'm probably not gonna start curriculum again until August, um, which w just means that, that he has um, his word wall with the words of the curriculum we're working on, a sensory bin full of um, curriculum related stuff. Last month it was his birthday sensory bin, and um, also we have on his bookshelves all curriculum related books so i'm not going to start that up again until august i think i'm going to take june i mean i know i'm taking june duh i'm in june but i think i'm going to do july off now we do work on lots of different stuff and that's why i'm going to make several of these videos including today so on days we're busy like this we don't focus on curriculum anyway because we do it the rest of the week but the very first thing he needs to do is clean up because with toys and stuff out, he won't focus. And we might have a problem focusing with the camera. That's why I'm doing vlog style because with the camera and the tripod, when I tried to film us working, he did not focus for anything. <laughs> so I'm hoping like vlog style, which he's more used to, won't be as distracting. But I'm going to um, show you guys some stuff then make him clean up. We always work on flashcards, and anytime I see flashcards, like at the dollar bin at Target or the Dollar Tree that I don't have, I get them because the thing is, if you do the same flashcards every day, they will get very, very bored. Um, so today we're just gonna I'm just gonna work on some animal ones, and we're gonna work on some numbers. I think, um, yeah. But I have all kinds of different flashcards because like I said, they get bored very easily. These are the best ones and i am you might have to look on Amazon because as you can see, they're very tattered and torn. I've had them probably over 10 years from when I was working in preschools and going through college, but um, I'm trying, I got them at Lakeshore, but I have not seen them at Lakeshore since. So I don't know, if you ever see these trend enterprise flashcards these are the best ones to start out with as like tinier babies because it's just like um let me see if i can find an example it's just no these are it's all up front sorry it's hard to do one-handed it's very basic there's not a lot going on it's the shape you know and then on the back you show them the word heart after um the colors it's, and they've got shapes and colors and stuff that aren't so basic, but it does have back like this. See, just brown, and on the back of the word brown. This is a really great flashcard to start out with. I started teaching Jackson at six weeks, and he's already putting words together to form sentences. Um, I'll include right now some snaps of him this past week and some of the words he's been using. Pickle, yeah. Eat it. You're gonna eat it. Go. <laughs> yeah. Your Elmo. Yeah, there's Elmo. Elmo. Yeah. 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 So we're going to go over these flashcards, which he really likes. It's the DK My First. These are great flashcards to let them hold. They're thick and they're sensory. And okay, hold the stack for mommy or here. I'll this. Let's close the box. Um, and he really loves them. I've got another one for colors. And I'm going to buy the next pack next time I'm at the Children's Museum. So this is one one 
These don't have stuff on the back for you. This is one, one. This is soft. Yeah, is she pink? Yeah, where's one? One, one, very good. You ready for two? Two, two bunnies, one, two, two, two. Oh, is he soft? Can you feel him? One, two, two, two. Oh. raccoon right there raccoon what's on the other side oh, an armadillo yes what about this a horse what's on the oh I gave you two on accident okay a horse what's on the other side oh, a donkey Horse, donkey. Do you want to see the rhinoceros? Oh my gosh, so Every time I start trying to vlog this again, he starts playing with the noisiest toy he can find. Yeah. Can you play independently for just a minute? Just a minute, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, so filming him, this, like, none of it's working out. <laughs> the tripod distracts him. Um, me holding the phone distracts him. So I'm going to go over with y'all what we just did. Hi, baby, you need to sit down. I will give you a box in a second. Here, do you want the green box? Do you want the green box? You can go through the green box if you want. Okay, so um, we have these boxes. They can be purchased at Lakeshore. They are a little bit expensive, but um, they grow with them. Jackson has been using them since Christmas. I think he was six or seven months old at Christmas. Um, so they come with an animal a ball, a fruit, and a crown. So at Jackson's age or below, no thank you, you want to work on teaching them the concept of matching. Jackson is starting to match, but here's the thing. Don't, like I don't want anyone that watches our YouTube to feel like something's wrong or their child's behind or something because of the things Jackson does. He is advanced. Most kids start matching and are able to identify colors. Like if you give them, you know, set, like give them these three colors and you say, which is purple. Most of them are able to start doing that around 18 months. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys several ways you can use things like this or these boxes to work on matching, to work on colors. Um, word association. So this is one of the flashcards I was talking about is red and red on one side. So I would get the red box out. Let's say you're just starting with a younger baby and you want to show them the items red, but at the same time you want to pile them together next to the word red and every time you pull something out, point to red, red, red. Um, they're just associating the, wor the word with the item. Um, at a very young age, you work on stuff like colors because they have different leaps they go through where they learn like, you know, something can be a color and it can also be an animal. 
So if you're starting out really basic, you can just do that or just start out with the box, you know, red. Um, you can add the flashcard in later. So that's one thing you can do. Um, now I have Jackson pull them out and match them with the red. Um, I sometimes do it out of two boxes because more than two boxes, sometimes, you know, I don't want to overwhelm him. I think he's capable of three, but I like to take it slow um, because even at a young age, he gets really frustrated when he doesn't get it right. So, and I'm not like, I'll just say, no, let's try again, but he gets really mad for some reason. So I'm mean, guessing he's gonna be one of those students <laughs> when he's older. Um, all right, so, oh my goodness, he is, just look at him. He is like, you're not paying attention to me, so I'm just gonna do crazy stuff. All right, so if you can't afford something like this, I really recommend investing in this over big expensive toys. It's about $60. Um, because this is it can be used so many different ways. You can dump all of them out, which we do at times, and we work on cleaning up, matching the colors to the box. Okay. Oh, you want to read. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. All right, so when he wants to read and brings me a book, I always stop what I'm doing and read to him. Reading is extremely important, especially for language development. Okay, <laughs> anyways. So there's lots of different ways you can use these boxes from like very young babyhood into toddlerhood and even older kids. Um, as they get older, okay, hold on. Um, when Jackson's around 18 months, we'll probably start working on this. As they get older, you can also match these and just drop the whole color aspect of it. Right now we work on matching colors, but can you group the balls together? And I'll just make a card that says balls and then group the balls together. Can you group the animals? Um, yeah, that's really important skills they need to learn. Grouping, matching, all that stuff, early math, okay. Um, so that's one thing we just did today. We use those boxes. Um, and then here's another thing sometimes I do. We did not do this today. Um, because we worked on matching with the boxes, but I wanted to show you guys if that is not affordable for you and it's not for everyone, even if you know you don't buy an expensive gift for a birthday or birthday, you buy them something like that educational, it's still expensive and I understand that. Um, so, of course, none of the colors I need are right here. Goodness gracious. Okay. Oops, he's got the flush cards all crazy. All right, green. So, Okay, we're pulling everything down now. Um, these little guys are from Infantino, and they can click and connect them, which is great for fine motor skills. You know, that's an educational thing in itself. These were much cheaper. I want to say these were like $9. Um, I won a giveaway. Um, so these are one of the items I picked for my giveaway winnings. But, you know, you can match just using a cheap pack of flashcards match toys to the words or colors so we will work on and you guys might have seen this on my instagram or i don't know if i've done it in a vlog but we'll sit there and we'll work on word association with colors so green you know um purple we'll put that together it doesn't have to be super expensive or complicated is my point so i hope that makes sense jackson will you help mommy clean up Will you pick up the flashcards? Help me clean up. Thank you so much. What color is that? Say red. Red. Yeah, there's the red. Thank you so much. The other boxes. Yeah, mommy will fix it. He just brought me both of these. I'll get them in there. <laughs> Is that all the help I get? Okay, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, one thing I think I already stressed, but just please, 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 please don't think something, there's like a big issue with parents in general, everything's a competition, or they over worry because one baby or child can do something that theirs can't. What baby? Can you get me the yellow box? Can you please go get me that yellow box? Thank you so much. Um, 
they worry so much about their kids and everyone does. I mean, I was doing that recently with food, you know, um, and it's not, it's not a competition and it doesn't mean anything is wrong with your child. Every, every child learns their own pace and I cannot stress that enough. I've worked with Jackson on stuff like this since he has been six weeks old. Because of my background in education, I knew he was capable of learning it and he wouldn't be able to show me he learned it till he was later, like till he was later, till he was older, but later on he did. For instance, he started um, being able to distinguish colors out of two color options. So if I gave him, you know, green and orange, I'd say which is the orange, he'd be able to pick it. He started that in nine months. Now we can do three or four. So it's never too late to start and it's never too early. All you have to do with younger kids is just show them. So I hope that helps. Brought my duck or your duck. Um, yeah, we totally forgot to do. Our, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna help you with the duck. I'm gonna do the duck. Look, I'm gonna do the duck. I totally forgot to do our songs today. Usually we have like an intro song. We do an intro song and then a few fun songs. And I didn't do it because I was thinking of recording. So another thing we do, we start every day out with a intro song that he knows circle time, learning time starting. So this is his favorite song. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, quack, quack. And only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day <laughs> over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, quack, quack. And only three little ducks came back. You can go pick our book today. You Can you pick two? Let's see. Can you go pick two books? Okay, I'll hold Ducky. Can you go pick two books? He's like, no, you will sing me another song. <laughs> hey, can you go pick one book? Go pick a book. A book? Yeah. Go pick one book. Okay. Okay, so now that um, <clears throat> we read two books, uh, since there's not a theme, I just let him pick whatever two books. We always read two books during learning time or school, and then throughout the day we read <laughs> quack, quack, quack. We read a ton of <laughs> we read a ton of other books. It's a whole it's like a whole daily thing of reading books and nap time. And can you not pull my top and bra down? Um, it's. It, yeah, it's it's throughout the day. Books are so important. Reading is so important. I've showed you guys in other videos during um, learning time reading. I take his index finger and as I say the word, I go over it. Um, that's just a good tool to help them learn words faster. Okay, so that is our really short learning time. It may not have seemed that short because it was really fumbly and I'm sorry. I just can't find a good way to record these because with the video camera doesn't work. I can't fully show everything because he's too distracted by the tripod and the big camera. Vlogging style is not working. <laughs> it's not working at all. So I've got to I've got to figure out a different way to do this. Like I don't know, hidden camera or something. Um, but I hope that that kind of helped you. This style of me explaining things more as we do them or even after. But now. We need to go run our errands before it rains. <laughs> you kissing him? You gave that duck a kiss. What does a dog say? Oh, what does a dog say? Usually, instead of saying "woof," because Amber and Ralph are always like. He goes, I'll say, what does a dog say? And he goes, he pants. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to say bye-bye, you have boogers. You have boogers. Can you say bye-bye? Are you just 
fart on mommy. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye bye. He doesn't want to say it today. But I just, what? We're in a bad mood, so I need to hurry up and go run errands. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. 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 Okay, guys, I already ended the vlog, but um, uh, because I posted on Instagram, I just wanted to say <laughs> shortly after we finished our schoolwork, before we went to run our errands, I noticed that the house smelled like smoke and was kind of like, what would you call it? Smoky, I guess. <laughs> I mean, like, there's no other word. The house smelled like smoke and it was smoky. And it smelled like fire, like a campfire. And then I started hearing fire engines and stuff. And basically a street away, there was a massive fire burning off. So we had to leave. I talked to my dad and he said to turn the AC off so no smoke, no more smoke got in the house and that it wasn't at a range that could like, our house couldn't catch on fire. Um, but it was, he says probably okay to stay, but since Jackson's so little and he has breathing problems and I have asthma, the Jackson and I should leave for a few hours till they get the fire put out, but to shut the AC off so no more smoke gets in and it doesn't bother the dogs. So we put the dogs in a safe area and I turned music on for them like usual and I turned the AC off and no more smoke got in our house but there was a, like a lot of ashy stuff and like, like it was snowing when we left except ash. Anyways, some of you guys probably saw that post on Instagram. That's the reason I bring it up. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are fine. We got back home. The house smelled awful. So I ended up literally spraying everything, even the walls, with a water, vinegar, and essential oil mix. The vinegar <laughs> gets rid of odors. It like gets rid of them, not just covers them. And then eventually the vinegar smell, when the vinegar dries, the vinegar smell goes away completely and it just left the smell of essential oil. There's still a little, a small smoky smell I smell occasionally and it might just be our clothes. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna tomorrow when I leave and come back in see if it's completely gone, but like we're fine um, I just pray no one got hurt really bad or hurt at all or You know the worst nobody died. So anyways, I just want to like add this back in here because it was a very dramatic day We vlogged and everything was fine and then like everything went downhill after I finished vlogging so I just want to Give you guys an update that we're home and we're safe and we're fine. So, yeah, okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye!